A. Genuine well wishes and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives at the outset. I wish you and your beloved a safe journey this year too, as well as subsequent years in spite of the three waves of Corona to the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress already. All variants of concern in full swing in India are with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. The most recent is the earthquake happening in different parts of the world, especially Syria and Turkey, then New Zealand, whatever. It is social activist and good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with the sheer ecstasy, enticed with altruistic curiosity to learn the unknowns like an infant for my 208th video, 208, on Anvil of Publication on YouTube today, 21st February 2023, Tuesday. The topic for today is Be Wise and Save Precious Money, episode number 3. I hope you watch my previous two episodes and in the process of practicing it also. At the outset, I assure you my videos are always short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are martyr, but our videos are immortal. We live forever through our videos, forever, for sure. Hence, I am confident that I live forever having published 208 videos so far, including this video, for the benefit of society that was absolutely free. All of us are aware that money is a real precious commodity, especially the ones naive and gullible, downtrodden, without which there is no life on earth in our present life, since life has become highly materialistic. There is no life for persons without any money. Money is a game changer and poor one suffering cannot be explained in simple language and it needs to be explained experience. That's the reason I am publishing this series, series, how to save money. All of us know pretty well that the money doesn't grow on trees, eh? but at least you can uh, employ certain measures that will help you to save at least some part of your earning, which will help you in the long run. Let me proceed with the 10 more recomm uh, recommendations in this episode. Already I have uh, mentioned 20 recommendations in my previous two episodes. Uh, one episode covering 10 recommendations, right? Okay. When you go for shopping for big ticket items, be clear of your needs. Your affordability, brand, etc. Else the sales goons at the shop will confuse you with the jargons which they can't even explain. You and your family can't decipher. Ultimately, you may end up buying a useless junk, which you'll repent for later. Service thugs are another group of cheats. If you are not careful, they will do such a shoddy patchwork and walk off with a booty. Moreover, they recommend unwanted replacement and service. Their one and only one intention is to generate as much revenue from gullible customers. They don't care a damn about customers. We are talking about TKM, customer happiness, customer delight. It's just the, exactly the opposite. Be on, the, on your guard at all times when you consult a surgeon. Never volunteer any information. Just answer the questions asked. Surgeons invariably recommend surgery. As if the only, it's the only option. And unless otherwise it is done, immediately you will die. They play dirty tricks on your emotions. Never fall for these tricks. Always consult a minimum of three surgeons before you decide for yourself that surgery is unavoidable and it's the best option. Take adequate medical insurance for you and your family. Opt for a floater policy with a reliable insurance company with a proven track record. Cashless transaction is the best option and read all the terms and conditions, especially those in fine print, before you sign on the dotted line. Never fall prey to either free medical or vehicle checkup since they are looking for additional customers to generate more revenue. When you drive vehicle, try to maintain a constant speed as much as possible. Do not accelerate or decelerate rapidly. Third, a lighting engine. In Bangalore, almost all traffic lights are digital timers and wise drivers turn off the engine depending on this time count. This should be implemented in all cities. In Chennai, it was tried out and then stopped. God alone knows why. Use energy efficient lighting systems. Latest is LED lights. Even street lights, automotive lights, traffic lights, flashlights, and emergency lights. 
LED LEDs are quite extensively used. Companies always design their products such a way that it's mostly use and throw. Service frequency is high and servicing will cost you a bomb. And they do such a shoddy job on, job on servicing also. It is advisable to have close circuit camera if you deploy servants for the household chores and unknown strangers inside your premises. service work. If possible, check the background of such people before you employ them. Never trust anybody, especially drivers, watchmen, housemates, nursing assistants for elderly cab service guys. Ensure that you watch my other episodes that follow in due course of time. Practice these tips and you realize how easy it is to save money which is such a scarce resource for middle and low income families. Debates and our discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. I will meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements, views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of personal experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation. Zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. This video on my previous two episodes, it uh, would have taken hardly five minutes, I know that. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a now. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural events, maybe bio war and cyber war, like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays the way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others, no fault of this, rest in peace and harmony.